Hot and Heavy Flies a Plane. Cynthia Rowlett, illustrated by Arthur Howard. Okay. One, toys. Miss Potter loved toys. He was old and he knew that he wasn't supposed to love toys anymore. <laughs> but he did. When Miss Potter and his friend Cat Terry drove into town, they always stopped at a toy store. store. Teddy was not happy at the toy store. She was old too, and her nerves weren't as good as they used to be. The wine ups made her twitch. The pop ups made her jump. jump. And anything that flew gave her the hiccups. But Teddy loved Miss Potter. So she put up with all of it. While she twitched and jumped and hiccuped, Miss Potter played with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Potter. Yeah, we call it a fire truck. <laughs> uh huh. He played with the dump truck. He played with the crane. He played with the bear on the flying trapeze. Trapeze. But most of all, he played with the plane. Yeah. Mm. Ever since he was a boy, Miss Potter had loved playing. When he was young, he had covered his whole room with them. Um, Fire planes were his favorite, but he also loved mono plane and uh, sea plane and the shiny ace drunkard. He thought he might really fly a plane <coughs> one day, but he never did. So now he just looked at toy plane every chance he got. One day, when Miss Potter and Teddy were in the toy store and Teddy was hissing at a wild pe penguin, Miss Potter spotted a plane he had never seen before. It was white and red, with two wings on each side and a little flag on its tail. It was the most beautiful biplane he had ever seen. And it had a radio control, so a person might really fly it. Miss Potter was in love. He bought the little plane and put it in the car with Teddy. He told her not to worry. He promised her a nice cup of tea with lots of cream and a warm English muffin. But still, she hiccuped all the way home. <laughs> mm -hmm. Poor Tabby. <laughs> Two the little plane. Miss Potter kept his promise. He gave Teddy tea with cream and a warm English muffin. Then, together, he went outside to fly his new plane. Can Tabby. Oh, oh poor Tabby. <laughs> Tabby had stopped hiccuping. But only because she was full of tea. She still didn't like Miss Potter's plane. Miss Potter sat on the grass and read all the directions. Look. Uh, it's then, like you mm, was flying. You're mm, like, eh. Mm, yeah. Then he put the plane on the grass and stepped back and pressed the start button. But the plane did not start. It was rolled over and died. Tabby purred. She's not crying. Miss Potter ran to the little plane. <laughs> mm. Tabby he, has yeah, hid. He studied right again. He told it to be a good little plane. <laughs> he stepped back and pressed the start button, but the plane <coughs> did not start. It fell on its nose and died. Tabby purred and purred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Jumping yeah, for joy. Mr. Potter ran his plane. He brushed the dirt off his nose. Mm, he told it to be a brave little plane. He stepped back and pressed the start button, but the plane did not start. One of the wings fell off and it died. Okay, bird and bird and bird. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. I've heard anyway, she was so happy. And rubbed herself against his legs. She sat on his shoulder, put her head by his, and they could know this made Miss Potter feel better. Mm. 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 He, does, he decided to try again. 
to fix the wing. He set the little plane on the ground. He told it that he and Teddy knew it was the best plane in the world. Then he pressed the start button. The little plane choked. The little plane coughed. The little plane gagged. But it didn't die. It warmed up and began to sound better. Then slowly, slowly, it rolled across the ground. It picked up the and then it flew. It flew high into the blue sky. His father cheered. Teddy purred and hiccuped. <laughs> His father was finally fl flying a plane of his own. Three, the boy. Every day for many weeks, his father and Teddy flew the little fly plane. Teddy never hiccuped anymore. She had become used to flying things. Children from town heard about the plane, and they all came to the field to watch it fly. Oh. Miss Potter loved this. He liked the company. He let the children take turns flying the little plane, and he felt like a proud grandpa. <laughs> One boy he liked best of all. The boy was a little shy, a little clumsy, a little forgetful, just like Miss Potter. But whenever the boy flew Miss Potter's plane, he wasn't shy or clumsy or forgetful at all. He was strong. He was sure. He was happy. When Miss Potter saw this, he remembered himself as a boy. He remembered how he had wanted a plane that really flew. He remembered lying awake every night wishing for one. Mm. Now Miss Potter and his had his plane, but he was old. He didn't need it as much. He had Teddy. And she was everything he needed. So one day he gave his little biplane to the shy, clumsy, forgetful boy. The boy became a hero among the other children. Oh, and Mr. Potter and Teddy went back to their tea and muffins, their tulips and roses, their morning naps and afternoon puddings, and sometimes when they were out for a walk together. Yeah. A proud little biplane flew high above their heads. Okay, then, what's this story?